will now give you a short overview of the LENA project. So uh, as part of the LENA project, CTC is working uh, with Ubiquisis, uh, who, uh, who is a, a company in the UK, and uh, they are a femtocell small cell manufacturer, and they are actually one of the major players in the field of small cells today. And uh, <coughs> well, we are working in collaboration with them on the development of uh, uh, a simulation platform for LTE. Uh, the objective is to develop a simulator that can be used by manufacturers, by LTE small cell and macro cell manufacturer to test their uh, algorithm solution. Uh, with a specific emphasis on the uh, algorithms that are to be uh, used as part of a self-organized uh, uh, network. And uh, the simulator that is being developed by the LENA project is referred to as a product-oriented simulator. So what do we mean with this? Um, the main feature is that it is designed around an industrial API, uh, which is, in fact, used in real uh, LTE products. And this API is uh, the Max Scheduler Interface Specification, which is standardized by the uh, well, originally the, uh, the Femto Forum and now the Small Cell Forum. And so this API is also used in, in the simulator, which means that we can test uh, in the simulator the same type of algorithm that you would test in a real product. Um, uh, to be precise, uh, it does not mean that we have binary compatibility of the code, so we cannot take exactly the same code and port it from one to the other. But uh, since the, all the primitives in the API are the same, uh, it is uh, uh, fairly easy to port one algorithm from the simulator to the, to the uh, product. Or you could, for example, have some wrapper layer that uh, takes care of doing the, the necessary uh, translation, which could be needed because of you know, uh, different implementation of the API. And well, in addition, of course, of you know, uh, having this API in the simulator, we also have all the other features that are needed to build uh, an LTE simulator. Uh, for example, uh, we uh, aim specifically at having uh, some channel and physical layer models which can be used uh, for uh, small cell environments and to evaluate the, uh, for example, the interference to, from small cells to macro cells and vice versa. And finally, it's an open source simulator um, for a number of reasons. First, the development is open to the community. Uh, second, I mean, the, the license which is used for the simulator is uh, an open source license and actually also a free license. We are using the GPL license version 2. And the reason why this was chosen is to, in order to foster early adoption of the simulator by, uh, for example, by manufacturers, by operators, or also by other research centers and academic institutions. And an additional reason for having an open source simulator is uh, to uh, build more confidence and trust in the simulator itself. So given that people can have a look inside the simulator, uh, the hope is that they will trust more the simulator because they, there is no trick under the hood if they, they, they can have a look at it and verify that this is true. And <coughs> from a high-level perspective, um, the LENA uh, project uh, had uh, some target application in mind. And first and foremost, the development of uh, downlink and uplink schedulers for LTE. Uh, this is clear, again, once we think that uh, from the beginning, we really focused on having these uh, small cell forum scheduler API in the simulator. And other uh, target application are the implementation of algorithms for radio resource management, for intercell interference coordination, and well, all the other items that you can see on the list. In general, any type of smart algorithm that you could expect to find on a, an LTE e node B, so an LTE base station, this is uh, one potential target for uh, target application for uh, the simulator developed within the LENA project. 